first step in creating animal cap explants is to remove the vitellum membrane, which is a clear protective barrier around the embryo. This has been completed prior to today's lab. Once the vitellum membrane has been removed, the embryos are fairly soft and easily damaged. They can be moved using the hair tools. I suggest using only the hair loop as it is less likely to cause damage. Feel free to use whatever magnification seems the most comfortable to you, but remember to refocus whenever you change the magnification. Once you have isolated an embryo, you are ready to cut. The hair loop is used to stabilize the embryo while the eyebrow knife cuts the tissue in a motion similar to that of a needle going through fabric. Only small sections should be cut at a time the motion repeated until the top pigmented portion has been separated from the rest of the embryo. This should then be gently brushed off of the embryo using the hair tools. Often you will need to trim the explant of ragged edges, so refocus on the explant. When trimming the explant, the pigmented side should be down. Use the eyebrow knife in quick jerks to trim the explant. The hair loop can be used to hold the end of the knife which helps with creating straight lines. Note how much more challenging it is to get a clean cut when the pigmented side is up. In this lab, this is the desired shape for our explants, but in this video they were interested in cutting strips. Once the desired shape is achieved, a pipette is used to transfer the explant to a fibronectin coated dish. This is not done in this video. The explants should be placed pigmented side up and covered with a glass shard with vacuum grease on the edges. This should be gently pressed down, but only from the ends, not over the actual explant.